Aaron with Westside Dive here. Uh, today we're going to cover another one of the basics uh, for beginning free divers or spear fishers. I know we've covered it before in previous videos, but we've had a lot of questions on Instagram and Facebook, uh, YouTube. Uh, basically, people are wondering how exactly to keep your mask from fogging up because they've used some methods that they read about online, but they weren't exactly sure how to apply the method. So that's what we're gonna show you a little bit more in detail. So today I have my pretty banged up, but uh, still super reliable Sea Sports uh, mirrored free dive and spear fishing mask. It's uh, right in between, I would say a low volume and a regular uh, size snorkeling mask. Uh, this is just the one that fits my face really well. It's really comfortable. But as far as defogging goes, uh, it really depends on the company. It really depends on the brand and the models because they're all different. But I'll show you guys what I do to keep this from fogging up uh, for hours and hours and hours in the water. Uh, this one is mirrored, so keep that in mind. We'll show you uh, a little bit more about um, the difference between taking care of a mirrored and non-mirrored or tinted lens mask when you're defogging and using those uh, different methods. So there's a couple of different methods of when you get it from the manufacturer, um, how you wanna take that manufacturing film off that I would say 90% of these masks come with uh, manufacturer's film on it that you do wanna take off. There's a few out there. Uh, I believe there's some, I wanna say it's Cressy uh, that we have in the shop now that are true no fog masks and those ones you definitely don't wanna do any of these um, these film removal methods for because they come from the manufacturer to already have a defog in place uh, on, built into the mask. So I'll show you step by step the method that I use that I think is the most reliable method for keeping uh, your mask from fogging up. Um, and it's lasted, this method has uh, lasted me four plus hours in the water without having to touch the inside of my lens uh, of my mask. So I'm gonna go step by step with this method. Uh, so you guys can follow along uh, whenever you guys are getting ready to hop in the water. All right, all right before we get started, again, just keep in mind that uh, all the brands are, are different. Uh, there's different materials for different masks, you know, the plastics, the tempered glass, non-tempered glass, etc., etc. So you have to be really careful uh, when doing these methods uh, for uh, getting the manufacturing film off and for applying defog, all right? So, Keep that in mind. This is just what works for me, uh, and what I, what I have personally found works with the masks that I have. Uh, for the most part, I've had a lot of different masks. Uh, again, this one happens to be a tinted sea sport, and this is the method that I use, and it's worked really, really well. All right, so step one, get a mask. Go on down to Westside Dive and Tackle. Make sure you go, uh, you get fitted correctly. Again, the guys at the shop are gonna help you with that. Uh, make sure they fit you correctly depending on the activity that you want to do in the water. Uh, make sure it fits your face and it's comfortable, that's the biggest thing, right? Then comes the material, ask them about the material, ask them about these defog methods. Uh, mention that you've seen the YouTube videos and you want to make sure that this method is right for you, okay? So, as soon as you purchase the mask, um, what I do, again, so say it's a C Sport tinted lens, so I'm just gonna use this because I don't wanna say anything about the other brands. If I haven't tried it, I don't wanna tell you to go do something and then we're gonna get some nasty comments. Uh, so this worked for this mask and a few other ones that I have, uh, different brands, different materials, um, and it's worked for those ones as well. But we'll, we will just use this as the example for now. All right, so. Purchased the mask, all right, good. Step one is down. Step two, you gotta get that manufacturer's film off. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that with a lighter, and this is uh, the method that I use. So we're gonna get the mask. It's got my nasty fingerprints all over it. And then get the lighter, all right? You're gonna go inside the lens like this, all right? I'm not gonna do it again because I already did to this mask when I first bought it. You're gonna get the lighter, all right? And you're gonna hold it underneath each lens, all right? Boom, boom. And you'll see through the lens, you'll see um, that film start to peel away, all right? You'll be able to see it kind of peel away from the heat from the center of wherever the flame is, it'll start peeling away and you kind of move 
the tip of the flame all the way around each lens until you see that film completely disperse, all right? You do that on both lenses just slightly. Make sure you have enough offset. You're not melting the nose piece. You're not melting the rubber on the sides, all right? Because you're going to lose your seal. Quick couple of passes. It'll burn off pretty quick. You'll be able to see it, all right? All right, so that is step number two, all right? So that's step number two. We got the manufacturer's film off, all right? Now, this is where it got confusing for some people. That in and of itself may work for some brands, uh, but for the most part, if you want a long lasting uh, defog in the water, that alone is not gonna do the trick. Once you get that film off, then you go ahead and add some of your defog solution. Now there's a lot of defog solutions out there. There's a couple of different brands. Uh, we carry some down at the shop, so you can go and get some there. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of a life hack and save you some money. I think those defogs actually cost four or five dollars a pop for a tiny little bottle. But for maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty, uh, depending on what store you go to, you can get a travel size baby soap. Well, one of those Johnson & Johnson bottles are the ones that work perfectly. I don't have any of those on me at the moment, but what I do have is another unscented, you wanna get unscented if you can, baby soap, baby shampoo with a no tear, all right? So that you're not stinging your eyes because it's gonna be on the lens there and it's gonna be up against your face, all right? So uh, that's why I recommend the fragrance-free baby soaps, all right? So you're gonna take a little dab and you're gonna put that on the inside of the lens. You're gonna smear it around with your finger so it creates a film all the way across the glass, okay? So once you get that baby soap or your defog solution smeared across uh, the inside of your lenses, you wanna make sure it's coated evenly all the way across both lenses. I give, personally, I give myself a kind of a heavy coat to make sure that it just sticks and it stays there for as long as I need it to. A lot of people get real vanilla on it and they put a tiny little dab because they think that the soap's gonna mess them up or whatever, but again, that's why I use fragrance-free baby soap. It's not gonna mess up your face, all right? You can put a thick coating on there. I put a super thick coating on there to make sure it stays there for as long as I need it to because I'll be in the water for hours and hours and hours and hours on end, all right? All right, so this part's really important. A lot of people mess this up. A lot of people have questions on this because uh, even after applying, uh, a nice film of baby soap or defog solution to the inside of their mask. There are a lot of things I've seen on social media, on YouTube, tutorials about applying defog solution to your mask and they don't get very specific, all right? Uh, so when you put that defog solution on there, most of these guys are saying to go ahead and dunk your mask or go ahead and rinse your mask off after you put that solution on there before you put it on your face, all right? Again, this is just what works for me, but I'm gonna say, go ahead and don't do that. Uh, all that's gonna do is just rinse off a whole lot of that solution that you put on there, and it's gonna render that defog useless. Uh, it might work for a little while, since it'll have a little bit of film left on there, a little bit of that defog solution left on there, or soap left on there, but you, you rinse most of it off before you even got in the water. So, again, what I'll do is I will put that layer of baby soap across the lenses from edge to edge, make sure it's completely covering it. I get kind of generous with it. I'll put a good amount on there. Uh, not so much that's gooping and dripping off, but enough to where it has a decent coat all the way across, all right, and it's not sliding off. Um, then I, what I'll do personally is I'll either put it, if it looks good, I'll put it straight onto my face, but if it's looking a little globby, all right, like there's maybe too much on there and it's kind of thick, after you get a nice film across, I'll stick my hand in some water, fresh water, salt water, whatever you're next to, and I'll do this number, I'll kind of spray it like this across the mask, and it'll hit it with just enough water where it'll kind of drip down, and it creates kind of an even surface so you can see right through it, all right? The film will still be there, but you can see nice and clearly through it, all right? Then throw it straight onto your face, Keep it nice and tight, make sure you have a good seal, and you can get straight into the water. Another thing that's important to note, that I don't know why people do this, I have to say it. Uh, I know a lot of people watching this channel, watching our page, um, they're kind of rolling their eyes, but we have to say it uh, because this is kind of geared towards those beginner divers, first timers, all right? First time spear fishers. Don't take the mask off while you're in the water. If you absolutely have to for some reason, 
peel it off after you're above the surface and keep it out of the water. But for the most part, do your best not to open it and get that salt water into the mask because believe it or not, that will cause all of your defog solution to wash off and render it useless and then all you're left with is either having to go back to your boat if you are lucky enough to have a boat nearby uh, where your defog solution is and apply some more and do that whole process again or swim back to shore as most of us do as shore divers go all the way back to your truck your car wherever you have your stuff apply all that solution and you gotta go back out of the end because there's nothing like a fog dump mask to ruin your dive sesh. So we're gonna avoid that as best as possible by using the method that uh, I just showed you. If it works for you guys, uh, let me know in the comments. If there's any more experienced spear fishers, free divers out there uh, that have better methods or just different methods that have worked for you, there's no incorrect or correct answer if it works, right? So if it works for you, let us know in the comments. We'll test it out. Um, I'll make a little video on it and uh, we'll test out those methods, right? So again, this is just one method that uh, personally I've used, a lot of my friends have used, uh, that's worked, it's been tried and true. So uh, take that information uh, with a grain of salt, because again, uh, experience may vary.